for perfectly mown grass into a business. Okay, this is Chris. He's the creator behind, oh, it's mow time. <laughs> it's a social media channel that aims to help people reclaim their yards. Oh, I love that title. His Instagram page has nearly 45,000 followers and 170,000 people are taking his lawn advice on TikTok. But in October, he's using the platform to raise awareness about something that's affected his family personally. So TCL reporter Kelly Hansen is gonna share his story. Words cannot describe the amount of satisfaction I have in terms of how this project has went. Oh, it's mow time. It's like the perfect Minnesota dad <laughs> saying. You've really taken this one and run with it. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, we started it as a joke. Get to do whatever with, you know, mm -hmm. I saw mm -hmm. Instagram accounts being created and I was like, ah, okay, what's well, a cool creative name? Well, I say Ope a lot. We say it all the time and I like to mow and it's mow time. Do you want a grass type that's good in full sun environments? Well, we're gonna cover that right here and right now. Let's get it. How are you making money doing this? <laughs> I need to know. The question that everybody <laughs> asks, right? The question that Is your wife asks. asking this? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'm thankful because there's been a lot of uh, partnerships that I've established that have come on board that believe in the same mission and the same values that I do, and uh, we're, we're creating win-win situations for everybody. Grass, with a G, G-R, grass. Does anybody have a goat? What do your neighbors think of your yard, Chris? Uh, well, first off, they think I'm psychotic. <laughs> Um, I'm out in my yard probably, you know, multiple hours a day doing something. Your neighbors are good with how good your grass looks compared to theirs? I mean, theirs is green, but it's just not as sharp. <laughs> I, I'm going to send that to them. <laughs> so you're Chris, the content creator behind Ope It's Mow Time. You're also a dad and a husband. Yeah. And you've got a personal life. Yeah. And so you've taken this platform that you have and you're giving back to something that's touched you personally. I am married with two kids. Um, my wife's name is Jane. Flashback to when my wife was growing up. Um, she has four sisters. Her mom was diagnosed with breast cancer uh, when they were all growing up. Uh, it's not anything really easy to go through for anyone who's had to go through it or see it from the other side. It's not an easy thing to do. Originally, just had she, she did everything she had to do. That was of course until it came back as metastatic breast cancer. I ultimately, unfortunately passed away in 2015. But it was during that stretch where we were made aware of an organization called Metaviver. Um, and they, all they do is fund metastatic breast cancer and all of their work. It's a volunteer run uh, organization with people who are living with metastatic breast cancer who are in it day to day. You know, we got married, started having kids, um, a couple years ago, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. And that's where it hit me as a husband. Um, I didn't know what to expect. She was 33. She, that's not something anyone really thinks they're ever gonna have to deal with at that age. Um, but we put on our big kid pants and we tackled it and is thankfully cancer free, uh, which is great news. But there's a lot what people I don't think see behind the four walls of having cancer. How is your social media platform helping? What are you doing this, this month? Majority of the funding for breast cancer in this pink funnel that we see does not go to metastatic breast cancer. Over 250,000 people, men and women, are diagnosed with breast cancer every single year in the United States. Meanwhile, on the flip side, and this is the messed up part about this whole entire thing, is two to 5% of the overall funding of this pink wave goes to metastatic breast cancer and metastatic breast cancer research. Meanwhile, 98% of all breast cancer deaths are from metastatic breast cancer. Everybody who's watching this and hearing this knows and is affected by someone living with or who has had breast cancer or who has passed away with breast cancer. We are aware, but the funding is not going to the thing that kills us. This October, I'm donating every single dollar through my fundraiser, hosted through my store at opusmotime.com. I've got a whole bunch of different products on there. 100% of the proceeds are going directly to Metaviver. And there's hope right around the corner. 
It just needs to be flipped. How much money did you raise last year? So last year, it was the first year we did it. Uh, we raised just over $1,000 in a very grassrooted effort. This year, we have a goal of raising over $5,000. I am matching up to $1,000 of my own money for every single donation that comes through by midnight tonight. So get your phones out. <laughs> Go to opitsmotime.com. Hit the products page, whether it's a t-shirt or an electronic guide, uh, a donation. I will match up to $1,000 through tonight. Okay. You heard it, TCL viewers. Get on your phones and donate. Get on there. Awesome. Hopefully making a difference. Wow. What a guy. What an impressive guy. Yeah, that's Seriously. great. The more I learn about Metaviver, the more impressed I am. You are going to find a link to follow Chris and to donate to Metaviver through Opitz Mo Time on our website, <laughs> TwinCitiesLive.com. Chris? Good job, man. Way to go, buddy. Yeah, seriously.